Drew wants what he wants, and when he knows what he wants, he's gonna let everybody know. And he let me know a very long time ago he loves you with all his heart. And we're all coaches, and we can't wait for you know to pop some kids out so we can get the coaching. <laughs> Drew, I bet when you were hired as assistant for UNM, I'm sure you had no idea that your greatest recruit was not going to be a 6'11 power forward, <laughs> but your bride here. God works in amazing ways, the way he weaves our stories and our lives together. When Drew's out of town and my husband's away playing music, we always had each other. She would always tell me, Drew's my husband and you're my wife. I think in ways I remind her of you, Drew. I can't cook. <laughs> I get cranky when I'm hungry and I'm extremely picky. But maybe because she knows we'll always be there for her. We love you so much and we're beyond excited to see what the next years hold for you both and we'll forever be on Team Adams. XOXO PBM. <laughs> in good hands. He'll never let you know, but he's a really, really, really sweet guy. He's got, <laughs> you know, he's got a really big heart. He's as loyal as the day is long. Uh, you know, you guys are going to be great together. We're all really excited. Cheers to Drew and Brooke. the two of you to start your new lives together and I can't wait to see what marriage brings you. Just always remember that the best thing you have is each other and Brooke you always have your wife back home. So cheers to Brooke and Drew. Drew and Brooke, you have come to be joined together as husband and wife. God gave us marriage as a gift of grace to fulfill a longing for intimacy and for deep friendship and relationship. So take what is happening here today seriously and do it by enjoying it and enjoying each other. This is how we the little things are the big things. It's never too old to hold hands. And remember to say I love you at least once a day. And because I love both of you so much, I urge you to make each other first, even ahead of basketball. <laughs> Brooke to be your wife and do you commit yourself to honor her, giving of yourself to her in love, cherishing her, respecting her, encouraging her, and together becoming all you hope to be? I do. Now family and friends, I ask that you reply with we do. Do you commit to walk alongside Drew and Brooke through good times and bad, to love them, to pray for them, to support and encourage them, and even yes at times correct them? I, Brooke Vigil, take thee, Drew Adams, to be my wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward. For better or worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health. To love and to cherish till death do us part.
this ring, I pledge my life and love to you. For God and these witnesses, I am yours and you are mine. Well, Drew and Brooke, before God and these witnesses, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Drew, you may now kiss your bride. the finish line, but the starting line of a new life together. Keep love, that love that comes in grace, in patience, in selflessness, in sacrifice for each other at the center of your marriage. Every day ask yourself if you're the expression of this love to each other.